Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 30th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to see how we can use the group by clause uh, while performing the join operation on a couple of tables. So the tables that we're going to use, uh, um, you know, are the same tables with which we worked in the previous tutorial, the tutorial table and the tutorial underscore info table. And uh, we now know what kind of information we have in both the tables and we performed a join operation on them. So we know how to use, uh, you know, the join and the on and, you know, all the clauses. So, you know, this this example is going to be an extension of what we did in the last tutorial and uh, it's going to be pretty simple. So let's say I want, uh, you know, to pull out subject information from the tutorial table and views and likes data from the tutorial underscore info table. So since we have, uh, you know, two uh, tables with which we're going to work, so, you know, we'll have to obviously perform, you know, a join on them. Now, let's say I also want to see, you know, th the total number of uh, views that all the tutorials in uh, the C playlist have accumulated and the total number of views and likes that all tutorials in the shell scripting playlist have accumulated and you know total number of views and likes that all tutorials in the SQL playlist have accumulated so obviously I'll be grouping the tutorials on the basis of the you know subject value right so you know all the sub all the C tutorials have to be grouped together and all the SQL tutorials have to be grouped together and then we'll be adding the views and likes uh, you know data for uh, all the tutorials and we'll be displaying that data so Let's get started. So I'll first have to type in select, right? That is, uh, you know, so we have to use a select query, of course, and then t dot subject. And as in the previous tutorial, I'll be referring to the tutorial table as t, right? And uh, subject here is the name of the, you know, field that holds subject values in the tutorial table. And then I'll type in uh, sum, which is an aggregate function. And you know, we haven't uh, checked this function out in this course thus far, and I intend. Uh, on recording a separate tutorial on aggregate functions but for the time being just know that you know it adds numeric values right so i'll type in uh, ti dot uh, views within parentheses right and uh, then i want to see this as a uh, total view so i'll type in that within single quotes total space views and uh, let's say i also want to see the total number of likes so i'll type in sum again and within parentheses, I'll pass uh, ti dot likes as the argument, and I'll type in the as keyword again. And I want to see this as a uh, total likes, right? And uh, then on the next line, I'll type in the from keyword, and I'll type in the name of the first table, which is uh, tutorial as t. And then on the next line, I'll type in the join keyword and uh, I'll type in the name of the second table which is tutorial underscore info as ti and then on the next line I'll type in on and uh, the condition which is t dot id equals ti dot tutorial underscore id right and then on the next line I'll type in group by and since we want you know tutorials to be grouped uh, you know, into groups on the basis of the values in the subject column in the tutorial table, I'll type in t dot subject here, right? I'll put in a semicolon at the end to terminate the query. And when I press control enter, I see that I get three rows for the three different values that the subject column in the tutorial table holds. So I've got C, shell scripting and SQL as the three subjects, the total number of views of all tutorials in the C playlist are, you know, two, three, two, seven, triple zero, total number of views of all tutorials in the shell scripting playlist. Well, that's this. And then total number of views of all tutorials in the SQL playlist is this. And then we also have data for, you know, total number of likes. So that's how you group by data, you know, that belongs to two different tables. So, you know, the, if you understand the group by operation as well as the join operation, you know, if you understand how those things fundamentally work, then I don't think it's going to be much complicated for you to, you know, put them together into a single query, right? So I hope you guys had fun watching this one and, uh, join operation will actually, you know, the default join is the inner join and the inner join does not take into account null values that are present in tables, but you also have outer joins like right and left and 
we're going to check them out maybe in the next couple of tutorials and uh, you know those uh, joins uh, take into account null values and you know we'll be uh, seeing them and uh, but that's uh, for the next few tutorials and uh, for this one i just wanted to discuss this example so thank you so much and you must subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and uh, take care and i'll see you soon